Hello. Hello, I'm uh, an unusual person here, and today I am going to be um, reviewing the Pokemon Leaf Green Fire Red thing. Um, I completed the game at the time of this recording. It's pretty late. Um, so, I've recently completed the game, and I thought I would review it to see... Wait, is it a good remake? Is it not? Does it suck? But, uh, yeah. So. In the background, um, uh, uh, is World of Long Plays by Red playthrough, so if you really wanted to know what was behind that whole thing, you would know, and, and I should probably turn it up a little just to, um, I don't know. Alright, there we go, you've got some music, but, uh, anyways, so, uh, first thing I would like to say about the game is the fact that it's a remake of Pokemon Red and Blue, so before I begin the actual review of the remake, I would like to discuss a little bit about Red and Blue. It's actually not as good as everyone makes it out to be. It's just such a, uh, dated game. And, uh, it, it takes a lot to actually get into, because it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't have that look and feel, it's just, it's just Pokemon, and not only that, but it's in black and white, its sprites look terrible, and there's no running shoes, so, uh, yeah. It's a chore to get through, but if you can get through it, you really feel good. Um, so, for this game, um, this game has a lot better graphics, so, first thing I would like to know is, better graphics, this has just been vamped up to the, uh, third generation standards, which is whatever standards you make that up to be. But, uh... Which means it also has running shoes, which is a big game saver, and be back in just a second. Um, but having the running shoes there is a real game changer. So, uh, that makes things great. Um, what else is there to say, but, you know, makes the game a lot more bearable to play. Um... But anyways, if anything, it makes the game so much bearable to play. And, uh, anyways, so, as you can see, it's the beginning of the game. And it kind of begins with that, uh, Pallet Town, Oak, takes you into his lab, all that jazz. Um, but after you get your first Pokemon, it is Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, you all know the story of Pokemon Red and Blue, so I'm not really going to be saying a lot um, uh, about the actual story, I'm just going to be discussing how well it remakes the game. But anyways, so, if you don't know, you get your Pokemon, go beat all the gems, beat the evil team leader, I will discuss the gym battles in a bit. Um, because they are a little different. But the, uh, the story is practically the same as the original game. It's also pretty similar in terms of story, um, dialogue and all that. So, yeah. So, in terms of that, it's really a, uh, just a straight-up remake. There's not much different about the game. Um, but music, in terms of music, it's out of that 8-bit phase where everything is really pixely, so it really has a good feel. And it really feels like that third generation feel, but with the first generation music, and it really sounds cool. Um, to kind of explain that, it's uh, there's not very many trumpets, it's just a composition of sorts. 
Um, but it really sounds nice, and it's a big ramp up from the original game, even though the original game's music, I would say, is the more classic, per se, of the two games' music tracks. But anyways, up to now to the gyms, to just talk about that. Um, the gyms are a little harder. They've bumped up the difficulty a little. I think they've raised up a couple of the levels and made it a little harder. The problem with that, the game was already way too hard. Um, Red and Blue was already really, really hard, and uh, just making it harder really bugs me. Um, the thing about these games is the fact that when you get to the Elite Four, you are severely under-leveled. By the time most people get to the Elite Four, they're in their mid-40s. You gotta go grind because you've battled all the trainers in the old Victory Road. So you've gotta go grind and all that just to get in there and be able to fight their level 60 Pokemon. Which is really frustrating. They didn't really fix that with more trainers or something. Um, that It's not the most easy thing to sit through. Even with the uh, running shoes and all that. Um, so yeah. In terms of difficulty, they ramped it up. But that, that, that sways a little on the bad side. I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind but it just really gets irritating sometimes especially in those later battles um so um to give you an idea the new pokemon sprites are tons better and they it, the game is just a bit more you've got double battles in the game they've been added and it really feels nice and, uh, yeah, you've got, a. Uh, you don't have the new, uh, music for the Pokemarts. It stays with the Poke Center music for the Pokemart. In all actuality, it's really similar to the original game, just with a few new bugs and graphics. In terms of graphics, it's a lot better than the original game, but I'm sure you could already tell that. You can actually make out the character, so... But, in terms of how well it remade the game, I would give it an 8 out of 10. It, it changes what needed to be changed, what needed to be fixed. Whatever didn't need to be fixed, it didn't change and left the same, which is good or bad. But it didn't change couple things. Um, it didn't change the difficulty of the game. It made it harder. Um, which kind of sways it bad on the bad side. And then the dialogue and all that, the stuff that you would want to change a little, didn't change at all. You just... It's just Generation 1 with Steel Types and Dark Types. And the updates that came with Generation 3, and that's about it. Um, which isn't bad. It's got better music, pretty much better everything. But it could have used more change to really settle that in. It did really well remaking the game, I'm not going to lie. It just wasn't full enough. Um... Overall, it was a great game, and a great remake, and one of the best games on the Game Boy Advance. Um, but in terms of remakeness, how well it remade, it was basically Gen 1 with Gen 3 added. Um, if they had a baby, if Gen 1 and Gen 3 had a baby, that's what would be made. So thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next time.